Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shneva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with my Throwback Thursday video. Um, <clears throat> these uh, stamps are some old diva goodies. These were stamps that I got from Create and Craft. Yink, I don't even know how many years ago. So maybe five to 10 years. I don't even know. These are some stamps by me. Um, I cannot find them anywhere. That's how old they seem to be. Um, and I remember them in my arsenal because I wanted to do a test on painting. And I remembered these and I wanted to test out some different painting techniques. And so I pulled these out. So I wanted to use, and let me see if I can grab one. I wanted to use some of these um, liquid inks. And I wanted to judge them against watercolor, against um, markers, uh, Copic markers against watercolor pencils and alike because I was trying to see if I really liked these color mediums. What I realized is I don't like color pencil. I don't like watercolor pencil. I'm not that happy with my, what are these things? These watercolor, watercolor paints. The only thing that I seem to enjoy using as a medium is my markers. So I, and let me add a caveat to that. And these inks. Um, I like these inks probably because they're solid in the color, if that makes sense. Um, so... There's, I want to say they solid in the color, and I mean that by watercolor is so splotchy looking to me, and you never can get the same color. So I did not like that. But when I use this, these Bombay inks, they seem to work out better to me. And of course, you you pretty much get consistency every time you use a marker. So I have. A container with the um what are these uh these arteza markers i have a, a container of these and these are, i think the watercolor markers um are these watercolor or are these plain i think these are the what yeah these are the watercolor expert i have this whole kit of those i have the whole kit of regular markers i have the tombo set um I have the Twi markers from Azure, uh, Arteza, and these paints. I have regular paints. I have a lot of mediums, and I've been trying them out, and I realized that I'm not very good at them, <laughs> which is probably why I don't like them. So let me show you these stamps from Stamps by Me before I show you what I painted. That's out the way. So this one is called Beautiful Destination. And these are some gorgeous painted buildings that you can really use to make some good scenes from. Um, they, they have all of these gorgeous plants. And it watercolor would look really good with a watercolor background or something like that. And I know it do because I've seen people do watercolor backgrounds, but I just cannot manage to make them look good. So I got that one. And these all came in this set of four. Um, Every day you grow. I love this doorway. It's so pretty to me. That one. Then we have Just Keep Smiling. Super cute. And look, but look at all the plants that you can really like put in other, other designs. Look at all the different kinds of plants is what I'm trying to show you. So see the three different kinds of plants that you can add to other designs. And no one is the same. And it's one more. Well, I thought it was four. It must only be three. 
thought it was four. Hmm, must only be three. Oh, that's four is in the other set. My throwback from next week. And so these guys, they they cut out really good. So I stamped them and like you can cut out the full scene to put in whatever you want. So this one is this one. And so you can cut that out, color it and attach it or stamp it right on there. It, you can cut out all the individual pieces and stuff. And so I have these, I keep them all together. Um, and so let me show you what I, what I did with these. Okay, so I attempted to do it in ink. Let me see if I can, yeah. I did it with, this is with Copic. This one is with, what is this with? This one is with, um, I think Copic too. Is this the watercolor one? Oh, okay. This one is the Copic. This one is, um, a watercolor pencil, watercolor and pencil. That's this one. This one is Copic and this one is plain watercolor. And so... I have to be honest and say that I like the Copic the best. Um, these will all make great cards, no matter what. Like I could slap this with a on a on a, you know, whatever it's called. Um, I could just put this directly on a card base with a sentiment, and it could be a oh, welcome home, congratulations, whatever. Um, I just noticed that trying to do the watercolor, it was not good for me. It was very splotchy-ish type of situation like that. And I used color pencil on top, which is what made it even look even better. I used Copic to try to go, and, and I did the outline, which the outline of this one looked so much better to me with the outline of it in that gray. But painting, not so much. So let me see this other one. So this one here. And this this paint, this Bombay, um, it actually is not paint. I'm sorry. It's called ink. It's called India ink. And just using this, really, I really enjoy using this ink. It really brings out colors really good let's come down i'm not gonna make a card i just really want y'all to see this like how this ink really brings it's really the colors are really fascinating to me um and it kind of brings out like reminds me of that copic coloring so i'm just gonna paint this door here and so you see how it just laying it in there. I love this. And I'm not even, this is not watercolor paper. This is just regular. You see that? That's, this is just paper. And I know you're supposed to use watercolor paper. But look at it. It's not splotchy like, um... It's not splotchy like watercolor. It gives you that kind of solid appearance just like uh, Copic. I would pick a small paintbrush, but, but see that it doesn't give you that splotchy. And I'm not sure about how, I'm not sure how they really use this ink. Um, I did once upon a time work with this before because that's why I bought them. I bought both sets of this ink. And when you have these very tiny paintbrushes, you can go right into those little bitty spots 
And I think this is what people use. And then they use color pencil on top of it. I really don't know. But I enjoy using this ink because it gave me a solid base to use. You know, it gave me a... Instead of splotchy, instead of going back over it with water, and I, I think you can add water to this too, but I really enjoy using this, this ink. Because, let me put this down right quick. It reminds me of what I can do with my Copic markers. It reminds me of what I can do with my Copic markers right quick. That's, I think, is why I liked using this ink. Um, I'm not really sure if you have these, these, uh, Stamps by Me stamps or any stamps by me because on the back of one of them, you can scan it, but it's not these, it's not these, um, it's not these, what, what I'm looking at when you scan this, this code, like when you scan that, it takes you to the YouTube channel or the YouTube, um, but it takes you to Secret Garden, which is, you see that it has those pictures. See, that's this door, but she's not using that. She's not doing anything with it. And this is, when is this dated? Let me see. Do we have a date on here? I don't even see a date. Mm, there is no date on here. So that's let you know how old this is. It is very old. <laughs> Yeah, it's not giving me a date. It's it's super old. And so I just wanted to bring you back to remembrance, not necessarily these, but pull out some of your old stamps, um, some of your old dies and create something with them instead of just letting them sit around and do nothing. That's what Throwback Thursday is. Throwback Thursday is to go pick out the stuff that you used to love and create something with them. You don't have to actually um, use all the new, latest, whatever. Go back and get grab some of the stuff that you used to love and you used to work at. And it was like, I have to have that. And then they sit on the shelf and we do nothing with them. And so that's the challenge. My call to action for everybody is to go use something you haven't used in a long time. And you see my email address up there. Go e email to me. Email to me what you have included. And if you do that, I'll try to bring it up and show everybody if you like some designs that you did. I'll um, show you. Um, I'll bring it up on my tablet from the email. Um, and I'll take a screenshot of it. And then I can show everybody what you did using your Throwback Thursday stamp sets die sets or whatever um make sure that when you send me the email in the subject line put throwback thursday so then i don't know what it is because i get so many emails um but go and and send me some throwback thursday stuff show me what y'all working with show me what you pulled out of the vault to use so these um well, just some testers to test out with my inks and stuff like that. Um, I might de-stash all of the mediums that I don't like because they're mediums I just don't like. I don't like color pencils. I have a full set of Arteza color pencils with the case. I have watercolor with the case. I cannot stand working with those two mediums. It's just annoying. The only thing that I do like, but it's a whole extra step, is when I use the Gamsol with the color pencils, but that's a whole nother step because you, you're technically coloring it twice, the same thing. So that wasn't appealing because coloring is not my favorite thing. And then I got to do the same thing twice. 
no <laughs> so that's probably why i love the color pencil and i love the ink because this look at this this is a perfect um it looks good even though i'm using the wrong kind of paper so i don't i don't know y'all I, I'm, I'm going to be doing um, my classes again, my um, what do you, small group classes. And so I may take them with me for the small group so people can use them um, when they color their designs. And I don't know, I might end up donating them to a, one of the schools or something. I don't know because I have all the mediums, so I may donate the um stuff I don't like because they're in perfect condition because I never use them <laughs> so I don't know but I just really wanted to come back and and put this challenge out for everybody for this throwback Thursday for January to come on in and get something that you have not used in a long time and email it to me so we can see what you're doing all right thank you so much for joining me and I will see y'all all in the next one